built my own ripoff version of Alexa and I called it Karen. Now, if you've never heard of Alexa or the Echo or the Echo Dots, right? Basically, it's just a product that Amazon makes that it's a voice assistant that lives in your home. So basically, whenever you want to say something, you talk to it, right? And it's not the only company that does this. We also have Google that does the same thing, right? They have their own Google Assistant. And I think even Apple has their own assistant as well. And when you really think about it, all the Echo is or Alexa is, it's just a piece of software living on, on obviously a hardware piece, right? So the hardware component, but as far as the software goes, all it is, it's just something that listens to your input, the speech recognition, which is by no means new, right? It's been around for a long time. And after it hears you, it just processes whatever you said and then talks back to you via the speaker as a response. That's all it is. As far as the software goes, it's not super complicated, but I think what makes Alexa really cool is not just the fact that I could speak back to you, but rather the add-ons that it has. You see, Alexa has these things called skills. And all skills are, are apps that developers make to be installed for Alexa. And then those apps just give you more functionality. So I think that really is the key behind Alexa. Not necessarily that it does speech recognition and talks back to you, but rather that it has skills, it has different add-ons, different apps that you could use to improve the functionality of Alexa. So I thought that definitely has to be a part of my build. I have to be able to make a way for developers to make those add-ons and then using those add-ons, improve the functionality and essentially allow it to do whatever you want it to do. Now, eventually I want Karen to be its own standalone product like Alexa, right? Alexa is this HomePod thing, this cylindrical looking thing that you have that sits there and it's its own device. Like it's a little device and it just sits there and everything lives without within it. That's what I want it to be. But obviously you have to start somewhere. So I decided to start with the software. And usually when I make these videos, I try not to go too much into detail because then I find that my audience retention is actually higher. Meaning more people are actually interested in seeing the end results rather than how it works. But it's so cool and like I spent a whole day working on this. So I'm gonna show you anyways because I think it's really cool. So for this project, I decided to go with Python. Now the reason I decided to go with Python is because this is gonna be a very high level approach to making an Alexa. So I'm not actually gonna be focused so much on building the hardware itself, but rather using components that already exist Therefore, I don't really have to worry so much about the hardware, but more about how I'm actually going to build this. So because of that, I have this flexibility of really going with any language I want. So I decided to go with Python because I thought it's going to be the easiest to go with. And there's already so many modules out there that I could just use to put into my program to make the whole thing so much easier. So this is Karen. The functionality behind Karen is built entirely with Python and every single instance of Karen is actually built with Python itself as well. Now, besides this code here, Karen is actually pretty simple to set up. All it requires is a config file. Now this config file literally contains all the properties of Karen itself. Anything from the settings to the names that are used to call it. So if you don't want to call it Karen, you can literally make this say something else. It even includes a language variable, which you can change it to any other language. And yes, it does work. If you change this, for example, to Spanish, it does work exactly as you expect it and it speaks Spanish. Below are all the add-ons. These are the add-ons that actually give Karen the functionality. For example, the time add-on gives Karen the functionality to know what time it is. And the add-ons are actually really simple to make. You just go into the add-on section, create a directory for the add-on you want to make, and within that directory, include a Py file that contains the functionality for your actual add-on. Inside your Python file, all you have to do is define a function called run that takes a command, some arguments, and a voice instance. The command argument passes back the command that was used to activate this add-on. And then you can use the command however you want to perform an action. Args is short for arguments and includes anything that came after the command itself. This can be helpful if, for example, you want to go ahead and implement a function and ask Karen what time is it in a different country. And then you can use the args parameter to get the name of the country you want to use. And voice instance is an object that can be used to say commands back to Karen. So in other words, this is how you communicate back to the user whatever you want to say. Inside the directory for your add-on, there's also a config file. Now that config file is just a way for you to tell Karen the specifics of your add-on. For example, the name of this add-on is called time. These are the commands that are used to activate this add-on. Here is the entry point, which is defined by the package name and the actual Python file that contains your code. And then below that, you have a list of languages that it supports. And now let's actually run the program so I can show you a demo of it. As of now, Karen is a standalone Python file so you can actually just activate it by passing in the command python karen.py hey karen what time is it 4 46 p.m best so of now i actually had other add-ons available as well i have an add-on for telling joke which pulls jokes from reddit and one thing you'll notice inside the configuration file for this add-on is that there is actually another key within the configuration file called required packages now all required packages is is a list of python dependencies that are required to run your program in this case since joker gets jokes from reddit it actually requires a prod module 
which allows you to interact with Reddit's API. And whenever you actually run Karen, if the modules here are not installed in your system, Karen will actually go ahead and install them for you. Now, obviously right now, it's just a piece of software that lives in my computer, right? And it works awesome. It responds back to you and you can hear it and all this stuff, it's awesome. But that's not where I want this project to be. So that includes not only what we've done so far, but even going as far as making an app that actually interacts with the product itself. And then you can use it to go ahead and set up and uh, install more add-ons, right? So that means making a store where developers could actually upload their own add-ons to Karen, and then you could actually go ahead and install those add-ons from your mobile device to Karen itself. I thought, how cool would that be? But it doesn't stop there. Like the Amazon Echo, I want to make it so that it's its own standalone device so that it can just sit on my desk and perform everything you need to do with that with its own hardware, meaning its own speaker, its own microphone, all that stuff embedded into the system itself so you can actually use it as a standalone system. So what I plan to do is actually make a series out of this project and upload those things as we create the project. I think it's gonna be super cool to go from what it is now to making a device, to picking out the hardware, to putting it all together, to having the app function for it, for setting it up and installing your own add-ons and doing so much with it. I want this to be a full fledged project and it's gonna be super cool to go ahead and do that and just upload these videos. So if you're as excited as I am to make this project, go ahead and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button, that way you know whenever I upload a new video in the series. And yeah, just wait for more. This is, I'm super excited about this project and I know it's gonna be super awesome. Like right now, I show you the software and what it is, but eventually just imagine its own thing, a full-fledged device that has a bunch of capability built into it. And not even that, but you could actually go ahead and even include more capabilities to it by adding your own add-ons. It's, it's gonna be awesome, so don't miss it.